Also tonight, beaten and bloodied, but definitely not afraid. This woman is speaking out from her hospital bed tonight, just days after a vicious attack. She was attacked along the Venice canals on Saturday, and today police announced they tracked down the man who they believe is responsible. NBC4's Macy Jenkins spoke to one of two victims tonight. She joins us live with that. Macy. Hi, Colleen. Well, I spoke to Mary Klein with her son by her side. Now, her face is swollen and there are bruises covering her chest and her cheeks, but she spoke from the heart and says she's hoping now that the attacker is behind bars, her community can once again find a sense of calm. It's just, she tried to kill him. With her jaw wired shut in her UCLA hospital bed, she's not going to hurt teeth out. Mary Klein recounted what she could about being viciously attacked near her Venice home on Saturday night. And I like to do my stuff. I do 10,000 stuff. But I do them throughout the day, and I had 1,000 stuff left to go. That's the 1030 Saturday night. Everyone was out. So I wasn't scared. An evening walk, part of her normal routine after her 12 hour shifts as a caretaker. I was just walking, and then all of a sudden, I wasn't. I just got knocked down, and I and I honestly cannot tell you uh, what happened. It felt like I got hit by a truck, but I really don't wasn't there for it. She says she lost consciousness almost immediately. When she woke up, she went home, fell asleep, and then returned to work the next day. They said, "No, you need to go to the doctor right now." But I did not know that I was in a really bad shape. I had a, a rain bleed. Uh, he had really knocked my head. An hour later, LAPD says the same man attacked another woman in a similar manner. On Friday, investigators identified the attacker as 29-year-old Anthony Jones. He was spotted and arrested in San Diego, then brought back to Los Angeles. Councilmember Tracy Park near tears as she spoke about the attack and the steps she says the city must take immediately. Reality is we are dangerously understaffed in the department. So some of the things that we are looking at in the interim, like our real-time crime centers that can be used to network entire neighborhoods and our commercial center. Klein's family is raising money to cover her medical expenses and is still accepting donations. And while her body is bruised. I have to drink through a, through a, a special, like a, a, a nipple. Her resolve is unbroken. As soon as she recovers, she says she's ready to keep counting her steps. We're a free spirit and we're going to keep, you know, that's not going to change. The thing is that we shouldn't have these violent criminals out on the street. Klein says she wants us to send out a special thanks to detectives Leslie Perkins and Asia Hodge for all of their hard work on this case. And she looks forward to speaking with Tracy Park in person about how to make the community safer. LAPD detectives are working with the DA's office on what charges to file against Jones. Reporting live from Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, Macy Jenkins, NBC4 News.